And we're back. Hello, guys. I'm yawning. I had all the time in the world to prepare. I, I think, yawning? yeah. We might sound different this week because we've got a different microphone. And it's just us two. Oh, well, yeah. We had Jason last week. Yeah. But he's not with us this week. No, he died. So where are we up to in Persona? Because you guys didn't pay Yeah. <laughs> we got to go to Civic Corp. Okay. So hit left trigger. Um, it's just to the right of us. All right. Yeah, because the evil bad guy. Yep, I think his name is. I think his name is Guido. Which is that a slur? Other places. I don't know. So we're going west then. I guess so. West is. No, no, we should be fine. Okay. So. Ooh. Oh. Uh oh. Okay. Uh -oh. So I guess we're meant to go there. Yeah. Go back. What? <laughs> He's a man in black. He just said that. Yeah. Oh, there's a car, see that? There's like a black yeah. sedan. So I have to sneak in. Sneak into the back. <laughs> that wasn't that funny. <laughs> I'm tired, Colton. Yeah. Because you made me stay out all afternoon at, uh, some, at some yeah. pub. Yeah, I went out for drinks. <laughs> no, that's it. Yeah, that that's it. The story. That was it. We, we had a discussion about fighting gorillas. I, okay, so the, the question is... And this has been discussed in multiple internet sources. Do we fight these guys? No, oh, you can do whatever you want. Alright. Buddy, it's up to you. I won't use my persona. Anymore. You can be the you and you, or the different you gun. and you. Gun. Gun is not equipped. Alright. Gmob has a gun. I made oh, sure. Oh wow, she... Mary just attacks everybody. Yeah, Mary's great. So does Nate. Um... No enemies in range. Yeah, so the thing is, if you had infinite cloning... Oh, Nate has two personas. How many clones would you... Take, would you need to take down a gorilla? Yeah. You know, I said five. I reckon I can do it with five. Oh, we're out of bullets. Oh, I tried to have any bullets. There's no way but we could get five. Does everybody have two personas now? Well, they have two personas, they have two moves for their persona. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think, That's yeah, really annoying it. that when you press back, then it goes back. You know, right. I guess you weren't used to it because it's been like a month since you played this one. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so he can... I can't talk to him, can I? Can I? I'm gonna go back one. Use your persona. I'm gonna go back and you contact. contact. Oh, so only Gmob can contact. No, they can't contact. So, so, no, so you pick the sub menu there. Oh, okay. So once when one person attacks, they'll have to attack. Yeah, you oh, okay. can't. Gotcha. Yeah. Otherwise it would break the system. Yeah. You try to talk and... Alright, candy, candy voice. I think that, that's not an attack, I don't think. That's okay, though. That's acceptable. Punch him. Oh, so I was listening to a podcast. Yeah. And um, they were discussing how you should. how Konami should tackle Metal Gear Survive. As in, leave it. Well, they, well no, because that's and not. Don't make it. Well, it's not viable for the business. <laughs> Konami as a business has this super popular franchise in their hands. Yeah, and that they can make into the best pachinko machine ever. <laughs> right. But they still want to make video games. They just don't want to deal with Kojima. Which, I don't like Konami. Clearly how they treated Kojima is terrible. But, from their Damn, perspective, he, he must have been like a painful liability, right? Liability? No, man. He would have made the money, for sure. But how long would it have taken him? Like, when was the last... Metal Gear Solid yeah, no, 4. that's true. I think with the money they're making from Pachinko's, that yeah, it was a business decision for them to to keep him on for number five. For them to like let, let him go. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like yeah. from a business point of view, it makes perfect sense. No, I get that. They just did it in a really shitty way. But they were saying, um, well, how do you tackle it? And one of them was like, well, you either you either leave it alone, don't touch it. That's a bad idea. Yeah. You make a completely separate story, which is what they're doing. They're doing Metal Gear Survive. As terrible as people want it to be, it, it, they, they, thankfully they didn't touch Snake or anything, they left him away. Mm. The, the first shot of that trailer is his fucking big boss flying away. Yeah, cool. And then they go, well the third option is that you get a guest game director in and go, well here is Metal Gear, you have all this storied history to play with, <laughs> well, what's your take on Metal Gear? And they were like, and you can get like... Really, not not vague, but like really kind of niche directors like Ken Levine would be really cool. Yeah. And they'd be like, well, what would Ken Levine's Metal Gear be like? <laughs> I would play the shit out of that. Oh, no kidding, man. 
The stories make about as much sense as each other. <laughs> what do you mean? The Bioshock stories make perfect sense. Eh, well, yeah. They wrap up very well. I don't know if the third one wraps up. The well. third one wraps up fine. I don't think so. I think if it's... anything, it's too simplistic. <laughs> Fuck off. But when you're dealing with infinite universes, it can't be a lot like, yeah. I just think they spoke about it. They're very confusing. Why. Yeah. I think it's fine. Like, if they just dropped the word multiverse, I would have been fine. But they did all the lighthouse stuff. Yeah, because that was the style, because it takes place in East Atlantic America, so... So they have to use the word lighthouse? Well, yeah. <laughs> they could have said multiverse. <laughs> but they had to keep up with the theme of Columbia and stuff like that, and like where it was. Like, it's very, um... What's the word I'm looking for? Arcadian. They could have had the scientists explain it, maybe. Yeah, the... The twins? They kind of did. Like... I guess. They had their own role, but like... No, I don't know. I like... I think that the way that they explained it by portraying it through the lighthouses and keeping with the Arcadian theme was very nice. No, I'm not saying it wasn't and it nice. was a, it was a package that just, was wrapped up. I'm just saying I was good enough. Initially confused. The gameplay was shit though. <laughs> Serious? Two guns? Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now just the gun, just the gunplay was really, but um, yeah. But think about the original Bioshock. You only even use like you upgraded one gun yeah, and then you use that yeah, the entire no, time. No, that's that's fair enough. <clears throat> Did, like, you know, like, as a disclaimer, like, but the Bioshock series is one of my favorite series. You did a paper on it at school, right? I sure did. I think I did Mario. It's, one my, it's actually one of my dad's favorite games. <laughs> he goes back and plays with Infinite, like, every couple of years. I was gonna play. I lost my, I lost my disc for Infinite. Well, good news, my friend. They're doing the, the remastered triple pack. Cool. All three Bioshocks. Cool. Yeah, so. I, I still haven't finished number two. Why do people not like number two? I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I just can't get into it, to be honest. I feel like the combat in number two is a lot better than number one. What does Candy Voice do in Persona? I have no idea. Okay. What does Persona do in Persona? Who knows? It does attacks. Oh. I'm going to... Oh, Ooh. wow. Blind. Blind them. So that could no, I lock that dude down with his magic seal. Well, no, that's fine. I'm going to chill. Chill Penguin! <gasps> Let's not talk about that. I'm touching your guitar pick. It's all shiny. Oh, that's not mine. That's actually Jason's. He doesn't play guitar, does he? What? He doesn't play guitar, does he? Oh, there's one laying around when I moved in. It's not here anymore. These ones are mine. It's my friend's band. Oh, what a loser. <laughs> yeah, I know. Hey guys, check out available counter. <laughs> At the counter. That is the tiniest font I've yeah. ever seen. It has. It has available counter in big white letters and then this tiny white smudge between them that says at the. Yeah, it's, it's design aesthetic. Yeah, these pigs are just black. Colton! What? Unprofessional. Oh, there's people posting at the event that we just came home from saying that they're gonna arrive soon. <laughs> event? We went to the pub. There's no yeah. event. They're on their way. So Wait. we can probably finish the let's play and then go back and get drunk. Oh, fucking go! I got work tomorrow, <laughs> and I live like an hour away from here. Yeah, exactly. They have plenty of time to sleep it off. <laughs> Wait, so I have work tomorrow morning and I live an hour away. Yeah. What part of that means that I can I have more time to sleep? You can sleep on the on the way home. I get fucking stabbed to death. Hey, You're fine. I need to sleep on sleep on the train, train home all the time when I live near. Also, place. if I miss my stop, it's a fifteen minute trip to the next stop. <laughs> Ooh, little teaser for you. What? The next mission for Persona is called Jailbreak. I'm gonna get arrested. Probably for trying to break into the dark. Or maybe we're rescuing someone from Dark Court. From, yeah. Bad Guys Incorporated. That battle is long. I've been playing Pick. I, I, I tried to play Picross today, which is a really weird, like, Sudoku esque puzzle. Okay. Still not sure 100% I get that we're how to play it. It's fun, though. I completely forgot where I was going. Set it cop. Yep. We gotta sneak, uh, sneak in the back. You, oh yeah. you just did a big loop! So I went down here and I tried to go. You're trying to turn left at some point. Up here, maybe? Hmm. This is a long river. Yep. Oh, jeez. I'm not gonna change the view of this map. Ah, oh. oh, uh, yeah. Okay. So let's try, let's try to get in that way. Oh yeah, did you um? I put oh jeez, candle guy. Oh, and 
Is he wearing a clown mask? Oh, it's two different enemies. <laughs> God, that was terrible. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. okay, I thought it was a new one. It's like a weird lizard person. Boom, boom, combo. I put a note down here to... I don't know, I don't no, know. It's, one, it's one enemy. No, is it? No, it's two different enemies. Ah, wait. Yeah, see, so you've highlighted one. They're just lined up in a weird way. You ever see the Scooby Doo movie? The live action one? Yep. I think Cool Bill sucks. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's like the guy, like the news reporter's like out to get them. Oh, yeah. And then he like interviews. Is that Owen Wilson that plays? No, it's Freddie Prince Jr. Freddie Prince Jr., yeah. And he's like, you're just trying to make me say that I think Coolville sucks. <laughs> and here's what the team has to say about it. I think Coolville sucks. That's the, that's the second movie. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. But the, I laughed at that. The weird part about that is he points to the camera and looks directly in the camera's eye and goes, Coolville sucks. Yeah. <laughs> like he's setting himself up. Yeah. That's what makes it so funny. Anyway, my point is the, the little ghost alien looks like... um. The bad guy in the start of the first movie, you know that dude with the big silver suit, no. and he like flies. Around. Okay, that's it. Like literally, I think Coolville sucks is the only thing I remember from the movie. Uh, I've seen those movies a long time. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to the movies and saw them. I thought they were the coolest fucking thing ever. <laughs> you ever seen any animated ones? Yeah, I mean, I watched them when I was a kid. Like they weren't very exactly memorable. The Scooby Doo and the Witch's Curse, and Scooby Doo and Zombie Island. Were two of the scariest movies of my childhood. <laughs> they were awful. Zombie Island had these terrifying sunken skin zombies and cat demons. Sick. And like crazy voodoo. And then Witch's Curse, which had like a. Witch's Curse, I guess. It was like a ghost that made a pumpkin come alive. But... <coughs> Would you solve mysteries? Would I? Yeah. What do you mean? Well, if I, if I learned how to drive, you'd be a fan of and I, I got one. friends with cars, and we don't solve mysteries. And I pulled up, well, no, but I pulled up one day. I go, hey, Colton. And I wind down the window, and I go, hi, Colton. Oh, we got a guest. We don't have a guest. He lives. Story. <laughs> We're talking about Scooby Doo. Yeah. Jason, if I got a van and learned how to drive the van, and then pulled up one day and went, do you want to solve a mystery? <laughs> Would you guys get in the van? If it was like spooky mysteries, I'd be totally down for it. I don't tell you what kind of mystery. That's spooky the spooky mysteries. part. <laughs> That's the spooky part? <laughs> it's like, where did I put my shoes? Well, for you. Oh, okay. But then we get to the actual spooky mystery. Oh. Did you ever see the Scooby-Doo movies? Yeah. They were great. Well, the, anim the, the animated, the live action ones? Yeah, yeah, with Freddie Prince Jr. Uh, yeah, and they weren't great. How they, you? they were fantastic. They really were. I watched those <laughs> so many they times. Were, they were great in a, this is fucking trash way. Like, this is a, I am young and I shouldn't know, but this movie is terrible and I love it anyway. What? I don't know if it was terrible. Where the fuck am I going? Turn left. Yeah, I did. No, now turn left. Oh. Go into the car park. Oh. I can't. I'm trying to break into the evil corporation. Oh, just go through the front door. <laughs> we we can't. Uh, Hi, <laughs> I'm Mr. Evil and I'd like to access my corporation. <laughs> a man in black told us to fuck off. Oh. Let's get out of here. Look at these guys. We tried to get into a, into a company, like a, a private company, and a guy stopped us and the girl was like, well, how dare he? Why would he stop us? <laughs> oh, because they're blocking the street and we couldn't even go up the street. Oh, that's fucked. Yeah. Well, they're like pulling over cars and like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Get out Dude, of here. Fuck you, you man. <laughs> Get out of here. This is not you. Um, place. okay. So we're back here. We were on the other side beforehand. Oh, oh we gotta go talk to them again. Do you have like a bomb? Oh, I got a backpack. This isn't Boston. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, it just isn't. Too thing. soon. There have been, no, it's just too dark. Oh. There have been other bombs in backpacks. Nah, just you just saying the same thing. Boston. so edgy. Same thing over and over oh, yeah. again. What, are you saying the, the Boston bombings are somehow <laughs> better? They were an inside job. Oh, 7-Eleven was a <laughs> job. <laughs> Damn it. Harambe's still alive. <laughs> he never left us. <laughs> My dad's favorite one is Elvis is working in a 7-Eleven in Nevada. Wouldn't surprise me. Yes, it would, because he's dead. Nah, I didn't see. Oh, wait, that. I'm gonna pause the let's play. That's why. What no, I'm not. Why are you gonna yeah, pause no, the not. let's play? That's it's the same reason. You show some dumb video. <laughs> I'm gonna you? show Jason the video. All right. Yeah. Um, yeah. While you get that up, I'll tell you. Uh, it's the same reason that uh, flat earthers make a good point. Um, because when you when you walk <laughs> around the earth, you don't like 
you don't like die because of blood rushes to your head when you're in Australia because you're upside down. I haven't heard of that one. But, uh, <laughs> I just made it up on the spot. Oh, <laughs> that's probably <pretty>, why. <laughs> um, no, well, like, think about it. Have okay. you ever seen the Earth from space? Yeah, you seen pictures of it. I've seen the haven't... I've seen the curvature of the horizon though. Yeah, cool story. Uh, simulated <laughs> fucking sun or something. <laughs> what? This one has nothing to do with the curvature. Of the Have Earth. you seen what we can do with uh, video editing right now? <laughs> I'm not a video. <laughs> Your eyes could be. Oh, that's an ad. Hey, just play that louder into the microphone. Yeah. No, if we're not getting fucking money for it, I don't want them to hear the ad. Um, but yeah. I haven't seen the planet from space. I've seen. I'm not saying from space. I'm seeing. I've seen the, the curvature of the Earth. <laughs> yeah, but uh, Fuck, image, you can't even skip this one. No. Nah. Image, image editing. <laughs> what if <laughs> Photoshop? I, I photoshopped a picture this of isn't, the planet. <laughs> this isn't the Truman Show. <laughs> <laughs> I photoshopped a picture of the planet in uh, in uni at uni. That's directly into the microphone. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> this is fucking YouTube shit. Uh, Garbage. Oh, man. Oh, this guy. I, I love this guy. <laughs> anyway, turn the video off. Oh, hold on. Oh. His music reviews are actually, like, really good. If you, like, ever listen to them. What's his name again? Anthony Fantano. Oh. Fuck off. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> that's such a dork. I listen to this song again. This video he's playing goes for nine minutes. Oh, fuck, is it? Oh, fuck off, Colton. God damn it. <laughs> I'll watch it later. Turn it off, Colton. <laughs> God damn it. It's really important that we watch this right now. It's in a video. We'll get taken down. I'm gonna kill myself. Uh, it reminds me of all the fucking. Uh, all those stale memes. I mean, it's done now. That may have been spicy one day. I was dejected to let this happen until I realized I had the power of editing. <laughs> you can just cut all of this out of the video. No! You're missing out! Uh, oh! Vagina face mask. Neat! Hey, check this out, audience. <laughs> He's oh, showing head. a picture to the microphone. Yeah, listen to that. Just just text it to me on Facebook. Oh, great. That's pretty cool. I'll put it up in the video. Halloween Please. costume. We're going to have a Halloween party uh, this year. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that one. Yeah, that makes more sense. <laughs> That's fucking hot. That is exactly what a vagina looks like. <laughs> if it was stretched across someone's face. Well, yeah, of course. Do you know vaginas are actually 2D holograms stretched across people's faces? <laughs> Uh, I don't think that the female orgasm is actually real. No, it's not. It's not a real thing. Yeah, it's a myth. Clitoris was an inside job. Oh, fucking, I've never seen one. <laughs> How can I know a vagina's real? I've never seen one personally. <laughs> I've seen it on the internet. But that could be staged with Photoshop. <laughs> and that's why the first... first What's that? AQ? First day, fucking flat earthers. Flat earthers. I think it's accuracy up. Uh, I had this conversation probably... Once every couple of months with my mother, of course. who does not believe in the moon landing. Mm. Yeah. No, they filmed that on Mars. Why would they fake it there? Oh yeah, to be Russia. That's right. Fucking Russia. Right. Okay. So, you can you can not believe in the moon landing. That there's, arguably, it's your opinion. That's fine. Wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Neil Armstrong, like he begs to differ on that. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you know what? what? Fuck you. I was there. <laughs> I fucking worked for that. Shit. I I a hundred percent believe in it. Apparently, he was a complete twat though. <laughs> Like, if, I was, if I was the first person to be on the moon, I would be a bit of a douche as well. Yeah, but he was like a total dude bro about it. Yeah, I would totally be a dude bro about it. <laughs> Yo, I'm fucking the moon. Go on, Tiernan. Teach us. I believe it happened. And even if I didn't, I would still choose to pretend to believe it happened because it is the greatest achievement in human history. Oh, by the way, I would like to dedicate this uh, podcast to Michael Collins, the only guy who had to stay behind. <laughs> is that his name? Yeah. I can never remember the third guy's name. <laughs> Michael Collins. <laughs> oh, that's right. He didn't even get to go no. out. No, just sitting there. Like, oh, he just stood man. there and stared didn't, out the didn't window. Didn't he sing the soundtrack to Tarzan? Don't kick the fucking chair. Dude. That's another Michael Collins. That's that. No, it's Phil. Phil. Phil Collins. <laughs> that's Phil Collins. <laughs> you guys are <laughs> I made the joke. I knew what I was doing. Jeez, Tiernan. I honestly. I, I went out for drinks this afternoon. Tiernan didn't, so he has no excuse. I get to. I get to. S- <laughs> I made a joke. <laughs> Where did you go to get drinks? Uh, I went to. To Gosvener. 
God, is in there? Oh, He's Perth. These guys are retarded. Why? Why? Oh, I don't know. Like, none of the things line up. Like, come on. Yeah, the grid's a bit slow. Fucking visual design, mate. Get your shit together. It's not that fucking what hard. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. My, my main complaint was... Oh, yeah, we're talking about the moon landing. Main, my main complaint is her reasoning for not believing in it. Yeah. It's not like she didn't think they could do it or she didn't think that there was... She just doesn't understand why they would go there. She's like, there's nothing there. Why would they bother going there? Ah! I'm like, for science. And she's like, meh. <laughs> for science. Um, I like to believe in the moon. Uh, no, just stop right there. You believe in the moon. <laughs> That's all I was gonna say. <laughs> I like to believe in the moon. Um, I like to believe in the moon landing. Uh, because I'm not retarded. <laughs> yeah, cool. <laughs> but Jason, they could have just photoshopped it. Did you hear that, like, scientists discovered a signal? From out of space, and we said it was here, and it was actually Earth. <laughs> yeah, why is it we're so loud? Oh no, we were listening to Earth the whole time. <laughs> no, yeah, it's like the phone call was from inside the house. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh. Or no, no, like one of the scientists came up to another one and put his hand on his shoulder <laughs> and said, "We were the aliens the whole time." <laughs> and he got like, dude, <laughs> we gotta fucking leave. This is, this is not plan. <laughs> And the guy like looked him in the eyes and like and we were hostile. <laughs> and flashbacks of nuclear bombs going off and like war scene. Uh, we played ourselves oh, all this time. <laughs> oh that's great. I'm so gonna Is there like an image of like the signal or something like that? And then just like overlay an image of D like Cal and say congratulations, you played yourself. I'm sure you could do that. All right, like power of image. I reckon that's gonna be a spicy meme. Yeah, you could do it with the same technology NASA uses to trick <laughs> us into believing the world is round. To trick us believing the world is. What's the, the benefit landing. of that? Uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. okay. To prove to, to to prove that Galileo is right. No, it's to prove that you're not a sheep. Or... He didn't, did he say the war? Didn't he just say that the sun revolved, the Earth revolved around the sun? Yeah, but I don't know. I don't believe. Yeah. Isn't it like apparently like? No one believed it was that, flat. Yeah, that no one actually believed it was flat. Ah, oh, shit, I gotta go. Bye, Jason. Oh. See ya. Thanks for tuning in. I'm getting yeah, a pizza because I love pizza so much. <laughs> you wanna make pizza every yeah. day? Yeah. <laughs> that was a spicy meme. Alright, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna. <laughs> Have we figured out where you gotta go? No, we'll stop and then we'll come back. Alright.